Hi, my name is Eric Venturini. I'm the Technical Information and Education Coordinator at Johnny Seeds. And today we're here at our research farm in Albion. We're going to talk a little bit about beneficial insects. A typical farm landscape is absolutely loaded with insects, uh, and a lot of those insects are pests. So we've got Colorado potato beetles, flea beetles, European corn borers, all kinds of pests. But there's also a large number of beneficial insects out in your farm working for you. So there are a number of different kinds of beneficials. Um, natural enemies are those that actually uh, either consume directly or actually lay their eggs inside of crop pests. There's also pollinators. You can see a lot of them easily here. Uh, mostly bees. And those are out making sure that our crop flowers are turning into fruit. One of the most ubiquitous beneficial insects that you might see around your farm are hoverflies. Uh, you can tell these flies apart from others and apart from bees because as they fly around, they kind of pause and hover in one spot and then move to another. Now these are beneficial because although as adults they're actually feeding on uh, nectar in flowers, they lay their eggs on plants that are infested with especially aphids. And those larvae, which look a lot like maggots, actually crawl around the plant and attack the aphids, consuming them. A healthy population of hoverflies can go a long way towards controlling uh, aphid populations in your crop field. Another great beneficial insect on your farm are parasitoids. Now parasitoids can be either flies often, especially tachinid flies, or various types of wasps. Parasitoids are distinct from natural enemies because they're actually laying their eggs inside or on, on top of the pest itself. So for example, a tobacco hornworm has a uh, wasp parasitoid. It's a braconid wasp. And the wasp searches out this large caterpillar, lays its eggs inside the caterpillar. The eggs hatch, the larvae eat the caterpillar from the inside out, and then white pupil cases emerge on the outside, and the caterpillar dies. So bees are another great beneficial insect that uh, get a lot of use out of flowering strips or plantings of flowers on farms. Now, although most people when they think of bees might think just of the honeybee, which you can see around and is present on most farms, uh, there's a lot of other species of bees too, and a lot of them are doing a lot of work pollinating your flowers and turning your flowers into fruit. So as a grower, there's a number of strategies that you can take in order to actually support these populations of beneficial insects on your farm. One of them is to plant mixes of flowering plants. At Johnny's, we offer a mix called the Beneficial Insect Attractant Mix, which is this here, currently flowering with Cosmos, but it should present flowers throughout the season um, from year to year. This is intended to be used as a permanent set-aside, uh, a perennial mix that will come back year after year and um, continue to enhance and support populations of beneficial insects. Another thing growers might want to consider is the use of insecticides. Um, there's a lot of insecticides that are broad spectrum and while they do a great job on crop pests, can also impact these beneficial insects. So just be aware that if you're trying to enhance populations of bees or other beneficial insects on your farm, um, to make sure you keep that in mind. For example, if you have a crop that is a flowering crop and the insects are out visiting it, both the pollinators and the beneficials, um, you can really cut down on the losses to the beneficials by not spraying that crop when it's in bloom. So timing is a very important consideration. If you're interested in beneficial insects or using the beneficial insect attractant mix um, or in general enhancing or protecting populations of them so they can work for you on your farm, more information is available in the growers library on Johnny's website.